Hello everyone. In this episode of Pro Experience Sharing, we have Mr. Anil Ban with us, who has worked on business analytics role in Eli Lilly and ZS Associates. So, in this episode, we will talk about what exactly does he do on day to day basis, how to get through on analytics, data visualization, and business intelligence role, and the most important interview questions. So, please. Please stay with us till the very end if you are interested in making a career in business analytics. Yeah, so uh, I did my engineering from uh, VIT Bellore, and uh, post that I landed my first job in ZS Associates. Uh, it was an off-campus job, a grueling interview test, but uh, it got me where I am today. Uh, analytics has always been sort of a Mirage when I was back in, you know, uh, engineering, not a lot of people knew about it back then. Not a lot of people knew what to do about it back then. Uh, but what really got me thinking about was that, you know, uh, there is something just beyond uh, what I'm learning currently in my courses right now. Uh, in the courses that we learn today in engineering, not uh, except maybe computer science, we don't hear a lot about data. We don't hear a lot about business analytics, especially. Yeah. Uh, and that actually got me thinking that, you know, uh, this is something that maybe I would like to pursue. I would actually like to think about how the business works on a data-driven inside basis. Um, that is what actually motivated me to interview for ZS back then. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm right now with the LIL as a company. Uh, it, it, I, in this capacity, I'm working as a senior associate consultant where I'm having best, best of the both worlds from business and technology and you know playing both the fields simultaneously. Great, great. So, um, so I see that um, in Z ZS Associates, you started off as a BA uh, business analyst, and then um, you went into analytics side for your current company. So, so was it a transition, or in in both the companies you had a similar role to play? Uh, in my opinion, uh, there are multiple ways that you could actually go about in analytics. One of the ways is tech being strictly technical. You can go into uh, a technology analyst kind of a role, or you could go into a data science role. And then there is business analytics, which is a much more you know inside based uh, role where you have to have a cognizant knowledge of the business as well. Uh, when I started off in ZS, I was more focused towards technology aspect of it, and that was necessary because technology is the means to an end, and you need to learn how to actually drive the data driven insights. Yeah. And uh, moving forward, uh, I dis I found that maybe I'm more interested in functional roles as well, and that is where, as you rightly pointed out. In LI Lilly, I'm currently working as you know as senior associate consultant level, which uh, again is a functional and a technical role together. Right. So, uh, do you have like any specific instance or a memory that you would like to share with us during your day, early days of preparation? Because this this is where most of our audiences, you know, most most of our audience is um, in terms of their preparation for an analytics role company. Yes. Um, so I actually did my graduation from biotechnology. And uh, it, it, it was a pretty stark, uh, you know, uh, difference from where I'm actually right now to what I actually was doing back then. Uh, preparation was not easy, uh, but what actually got me thinking that when I decided that I, this is something that I really want to pursue, uh, I took a bunch of courses uh, which helped me understand SQL as a preliminary data, as a preliminary data skill set that I need to have. And Excel. These are two two things that I had to have in my repertoire before I actually went for an interview. And uh, this is where I actually had to go beyond and above my coursework to learn these two skill sets before I actually started uh, applying anywhere. Okay. Okay. So uh, you bridge the gap by uh, enabling yourself uh, with um, at least the basic stuff that is needed to be in an analytics role, such as um, SQL and, and Excel, because if, if we know those analytic analytics tools that kind of you know helps us in talking something to the interviewer yes yeah absolutely so, uh, so uh, come what it is uh, ultimately it boils down to how you actually handle data and uh, most of our courses don't actually equip us and me coming from a biotechnology background i didn't have that you know skill set in my repertoire so that is where i actually had to bridge the gap that you know i had to learn how to handle data before i could actually speak data Okay, so uh, to our listeners, we are moving to a rapid fire round where we will give a plain, direct 
to the point answer of each question so that uh, so for so the question that are so so relevant to the people who are interested in knowing about a career in analytics role so my first question to anirban is that now that people are doing low, so many certifications so many projects so many analytics courses do you think there are enough number of opportunities to cater to the kind of demand the, the supply that is coming from the colleges and the engineering colleges specifically oh absolutely because right now all the companies are moving towards data driven analytics and data driven decision making not a single marketing decision or a branding decision and hell even a supply chain decision is made with our analytics right now so there is enough demand and i'll still say less supply ah okay so uh, what is the best part of working in an analytics store the best part of working in analytics store is you could actually learn more about the business as well as you can uh, increase your technological knowledge as well uh, you could actually move ahead in the future you could become a uh, data you could have a data science kind of a profile or you could become a completely functional role like a consultant and uh, this is where this is where it gets interesting right you could actually move to any part of the business that you actually want to analytics becomes a, is right now a center fold of all the business decisions that are being made and this is where it gets really really interesting okay so what does a typical or a uh, usual work day or uh, if i speak about it uh, like usual work week looks like i mean what core work do you guys do on a regular basis uh so in my current role i work with the brand and the marketing teams and the sales force team so in a usual work week what we usually do is i get a business problem from one of these teams and it's my job to translate it into technology understand what kind of data is required to answer this question uh this next part is obviously much more technical where we implement statistical analysis and data driven methodologies to actually derive the insights and the last part is even more crucial which is actually translating these insights into meaningful decisions for these teams okay so if i as an aspirant or like working for an interview or let's say aspiring to be in an analytics company what kind of questions the key questions that i can expect in almost every interview uh so as a fresher probably the first thing i would ask to an aspirant is the same question that i was asked uh sql and excel these are the basic thing that any aspirant would definitely need to have in the reporter and in today's world another uh, language called python or r is very useful to learn in, especially if the aspirant is very keen towards learning towards data science methodologies uh statistics is good to have if you have it there's nothing like it but uh in today's world i would say yeah definitely these are the few key technical skills that i would look for in an aspirant before uh, getting into any other discussion okay so uh, any resource that you want people to refer to i mean any website or a blog or a specific books that you think people should be referring to uh so i had a lot of help from online courses uh, such as coursera and linkedin learning linkedin learning has a ton of great great um, courses on r python statistical methodologies and business analytics itself as well um so i would recommend one few of those at least as a starting platform to start okay so uh, i'm sorry th th this question is a little cliche but this question is something which is what uh, we have found is very unique to each and every person we have interviewed that any regular routine do you follow that you think is absolutely important for your success so um in my personal view i believe that um, probably not a regular routine i would say that the one thing that i really keep on tab is market trends uh in business analytics especially it's important that we understand how the market is functioning uh i am currently in the pharma domain and it, and i definitely need to keep up with what's happening in the industry as well so this is where it uh, gets uh, you know important to keep tabs on what is happening in analytics as a field as well as the field that you are actually working on the domain that you are actually concentrating on so that's something that i try to keep up with i subscribe to news lets from all the sources where i can learn about more about pharma more about business analytics new methodologies that are coming up on day to day basis uh those stuff that like ends the interview thank you thank you for joining us in the episode of to explain sharing um so now that um uh, to the listeners if you guys 
like watching this video, please subscribe to our channel. We are coming up with many such refreshers from industry experts who will share what exactly happens in the role they are working on. Thank you, Nirvan. Thank you so much.